growing things. It is quite easy to grow things. But first, you have to understand what makes plants grow and how to give them what they need. Plants are living things. If you look carefully after them, they will grow strong and healthy. Plants need light for them to grow and make green leaves. All plants need water, but too much water is as bad for them as too little. Pots have holes in the bottom so water can drain out. If the soil gets soggy, the roots of the plant will rot and die. Gravel or bits of broken pot over the holes in the pots stop them from getting flat blocked so that water can drain out of them easily. A saucer under the pot catches the water. I'm sorry, hold on just a second. No, you're fine. Uh, could you read that one part over again? In the beginning of the sentence. Yep. A saucer under the pot catches the water. Plants like rainwater better than tap. Yeah, plants like rainwater better than tap water. A plant cannot live on water alone. You can buy liquid plant food. You add it to water to replace the food the plant has used up. Plants get their food and water from the soil. Their roots grow best in light, crumbly soil with a little heat and sand. Potting soil for house plants is light soil with rich plant food in it. If you live in a place with a short summer, like Idaho, you should plant the seeds indoors first. When the spring is over and it's finally warm enough to plant things outside, your seedlings will already be a few inches tall. To plant seeds inside, you need potting soil, the seeds, a seed tray, and a watering can. Fill the seed tray with potting soil. Sprinkle the seeds over it and then cover them lightly with more soil. Water the seeds gently using a watering can with a fine spray. Tie a plastic bag over the tray and put it in a warm, dark place. The bag helps keep the soil damp. As soon as shoots appear, take the box out of the bag and put it in a warm, light place. Don't put the plants in direct sunlight. The sun will be too much for them and they will shrivel and die. Water them regularly. The soil should be damp, but not too wet. When the plants have six leaves, replant them two inches apart in new trays. This will give them more room to grow. As soon as the weather is warm enough, move the plants outside so the plants get used to being outdoors. When they have grown too big for the trays, dig them up very carefully, keeping the soil around the roots. Dig small holes in the garden and carefully plant the seedlings oh, I'm sorry, in them. Renee, can you go back and read that sentence one more time for me? Mm -hmm. Dig small holes in the garden and carefully plant the seedlings in them. Press the soil down around them and then water them. There are different kinds of plants. Annuals grow from seeds. They flower and then die in one year. 
Biennials live for two years. They don't usually flower the first year, but they flower the second. Then they die. Perennials live in flower for many years. They usually die down in the winter, but then they grow back again in the spring. Giant sunflowers grow very fast. You can plant the seeds outside right from the start. Plant the seeds in the spring after all danger of freezing. Choose a sunny place with good soil. Near a fence or a wall is best if possible. Pull up all the weeds and dig and rake the ground. Make sure the soil is level and does not have any lumps in it. Water the ground every day and the shoots will appear in 10 to 14 days. The plants will grow very fast if you remember to water them. You could have a race with a friend to see whose sunflower grows the fastest or tallest. Giant sunflowers can grow three to four yards tall. Measure them every week. They flower from July to September. The flowers are the size of dinner plates and turn around to face the sun. Bees love them. When the flowers die, cut off one of the heads and rub the seeds out onto some newspaper with a fork. Put the seeds in an envelope, seal it and label it, and then keep it in a dry place and plant the seeds for next year. Sunflowers are so beautiful. They're bright yellow and orange and the birds they love to eat the seeds but be careful bees love them too they swarm around them and you can get stung if you're going to try to pick a sunflower make sure you bring a parent with you so that you're safe from any kind of water that may be around them. While you're there, look and see if you can find bunnies and butterflies and other things that are living around it. You may also find different plants that live around the water that may be equally as beautiful. Like sunflowers, all of these plants need water and sun. You can grow sunflowers in a garden, or they can grow wild. Either way, they're beautiful flowers. An interesting fact about sunflowers is they can grow along the road. They don't need much water. The birds eat the sunflowers and take them with them and the seeds fall in place. That's why you see sunflowers growing along the road. Sunflowers can grow in many places. Another wildflower is the daisy. A daisy is really pretty too. It's white and yellow and they grow along the road and in gardens. One thing about wildflowers... I'm sorry. Okay. What's my time? You have like six seconds. Sorry. <laughs>
I'm sorry.